What's up guys, welcome back to Punning for the People. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Jacob. I'm an Australian, I'm living here in Germany and today we've come to Hanover. We are here in the Herrenhauser Grosser Garden in Hanover. We tried to come here late last year but it was a bit, uh, the weather wasn't really that great. Obviously you guys know if you watch my vlogs, Marianne's mum's here. So we decided to come and see the Herrenhauser Grosser Garden and the Herrenhauser Palace or where the palace used to be and show Marianne's mum a good time. So what better place to do a video about how green Germany is and how much nature Germany has around the cities and in the towns than a place that literally translates to giant or big garden. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I would love to have you guys as subscribers. So we're gonna start walking around the Herrenhauser Grosser Garden. I'm gonna take you along when I talk about a couple things that I see here, a couple things that we're experiencing while we're in the Grosser Garden, and then also talk about why Germany is so green. So we made it to the fountain that is meant to have the water show and I think we made it here just in time. Um, hopefully it starts in a little bit and I might be able to catch a little bit for you guys on camera. Um, this is planned at the Grosser Garden. They do shows like this, a little exhibitions every uh, couple hours. So we got here just in time so we can go see the water show. So the Herrenhauser Garden or the Grosser Garten in Hanover isn't the only Grosser Garten in Germany. There are Grosser Gartens basically in every capital city and even in some of the smaller cities. For example, when I was in Dresden, I made a vlog where we went and walked through the Dresden Grosser Garten and it's a normal thing. Most cities have a place that remains green, remains filled with nature, remains there for tourism and then also for the people that live in the city to go and see and admire. And that's something that, at least in Australia, we don't have a lot of. We obviously have the botanical gardens, but it's not like every single city has them. And Australia is very, very modernized. There's a lot of big buildings, a lot of big, gigantic skyscrapers in all the cities in Australia. Germany, most people know that Frankfurt is the only city with a skyline. That is because a lot of the cities try and stick to their roots and not demolish all of this beautiful nature that we get to walk around every single day. So unfortunately, due to the situation, we did want to go into the maze. Uh, the Herrenhauser Garden has a maze that we were going to go in. I thought it would be a really cool opportunity to explore, but due to the situation, unfortunately, it's closed. But good news is this place is massive. This isn't the only thing the Herrenhauser Palace has to offer. This isn't the only thing the Grosser Garden has to offer. But we're going to keep looking around and uh, we're going to keep going on with this vlog.
So guys, the Grosser Garten or the Herrenhauser Garten used to actually be home to a palace, the Herrenhauser Palace. And this is the remains of the palace steps because back when everything was getting destroyed, um, all of the Herrenhauser Palace actually got destroyed as well. So they've kept this here for the last time. Um, I have to read the sign that I actually filmed for you guys to read, but it's still here. They keep it preserved. They keep it um, here for people to come and see, which is great. And that's what I mean by German nature is they preserve old things they don't knock it down they don't get rid of it just because it's old they keep it here and they allow the nature to grow around it so it's really cool So people that have been watching my videos for a long time realize that sometimes in my videos when I do my b-roll I love to take pictures of nature whether it be little flowers, bees, grass, anything like that. I love it and the reason that is is because Germany just has so much of it. It's something that a lot of people just don't take advantage of. There's so many things you walk past every day in your daily life that has to do with the beauty of nature and no one really grasps it. So I love to put it in my videos, little tiny things that everyone would miss every single day that they get to sit back relax and enjoy watching through my videos. This is what I mean when I say that Germany is so well built, but also keeps all of its stuff intact. In the Herrenhaus Garden, we've got all these little gold statues here, right behind me here. But then, I don't know whether you can see in the back there, in one of the videos that I just did, there was a really nice gold statue, and right off in the distance, you can see this old school castle. And then behind us now, you can see all the new buildings at the start of the Herrenhauser Garden. So they don't compromise the old for the new. And it's just a huge, huge difference to a lot of places these days that just wants to knock everything over. Huge shout out to Zach. Zach just made a video about a baseball field in America that's just been completely abandoned. And that's the way that the Western culture looks at things sometimes is we just have to abandon the old and continue with the new. But Germany still has that feeling they have to honor nature and honor their past and what has gone on back then. And they keep everything so pristine. So thank you, Germany, and thank you to the German people. Alright guys, that is it from the Herrenhauser Garten or the Grosser Garten or the Herrenhauser Palace, whatever I've said in the video. I'm sure I'll get corrected as to what's the correct way to say it, but that is it. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. I hope this taught you a little bit about why Germany is so green and in touch with nature. I hope you enjoyed the shots that I got inside the garden. Um, if you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see me do more of. Um, and as always, if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel. But until next time, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope this isn't the first or the last time that I see you here. And as always, my name is Jacob, this is Plenty for the People. I'll see you guys next time.